Year 1600 to 1800, Russia never had black slaves nor did Russia create a market to trade black people. In 1884, Russia never participated in the Berlin Conference to share Africa like some piece of goat meat. Between the year of 1914 to 1960, Russia never colonized, underdeveloped and looted Africa's resources. Russia never enabled a safety net for African leaders to hide stolen funds, use these stolen funds to develop itself and then grant the same funds back to Africa as loans. Russia never invaded and destabilized any African country, Libya, Somalia, Congo, Burkina Faso, Egypt, South Africa, etc. Russia never killed any of African freedom fighter, but UK and USA have killed hundreds of African saviors and thousands of our African freedom fighters are still languishing in different prisons and dungeons all over America. Who killed Marcus Garvey of Black Panther USA? Who killed Thomas Sankara of Burkina Faso? Who killed Patrice Lumumba of Congo? Who killed Malcolm X of Black Panther? Who killed Mummer al Gaddafi of Libya? Who killed Rev. Martin Luther King Jr. of African American? Who killed Tupac Sharker? Who killed Fela Kuti? Who killed Stephen Biko of Bantu in South Africa? Who killed Solomon Mollingu? Who killed 5 million Biafrans? Etc. Those who did the aforementioned are the ones pushing the narrative that Russia has become the Boogeyman. Those who colonized and for about 100 years refused to share their technology with Africa want Africa to like those they like and hate those they hate. If Russia is the Boogeyman, then the West is the devil himself. The West and Russia should find solutions to their problem. Enough of the killing of innocent Ukrainians. Say no to war. Be sure to subscribe. The year 1600.